So good morning from the garden. I just wanted to do some quick updates on some of the really fun things that are that are happening. Um, we got some pretty plants blooming, and I won't do a full garden tour, but we'll do a, a um, just to show the the pretty things. First thing, garden critter. Hey, it's not becoming of you to chew on your feet. So one of the big things that I did this weekend was I um, read about and hopefully learned properly how to um, trim up the forsythia. Um, I'm still saying that it's a little messed up from my previous pruning that I didn't do properly, but hopefully as time goes on we can get it a little bit more... Um, um, you know, shaped properly, but it is a lot more airy now, and um, I just think we'll be happier and better off. Over here we have this sweet little hosta that is starting to bloom. I don't know why, but I do love hosta blooms. I just think they're so pretty. They're just the purple with all the bumblebees are always in them, and just a really fun. I'm sorry if the wind is messing with things this morning. Over here we have the pink lilies are finally starting to bloom alongside the, the entryway here into the backyard. Um, <laughs> this is always so neat to me that I just planted pink lilies here. Um, I think what happens, and I don't know for sure, I mean, it must be cross-pollinated with a different lily that makes these beautiful burgundy ones. Um, show up. Uh, there's another one in the other garden over here that isn't blooming yet, but when it is, I will show it to you. It's the most beautiful lily that I have, and it is a uh, like a hybrid volunteer from my regular Asiatic lilies and my tree lily. So this might even be a mix of the uh, tree lily. It's the same color as my tree lilies, but it's hard to say. Unfortunately, the lilies in the back, these, these ones are, are done now. Those were the just red ones. There's some just mixed. Those are the last ones to bloom, but these yellow ones opened. And I had um, previously said I didn't know. I still didn't know that I had planted yellow lilies in here, so that's great. I don't, I don't know. I'd like to say that I didn't do it and that the garden did it itself, but I'm guessing I put them in there at some point. just don't remember. So I did lose that first um, squash that came up without, and it didn't have a male. I did try to like pull open a male. It just didn't work. So, so we we lost that one. But there are quite a few in here that I'm hoping we're gonna get a squash or two out of this out of this plant. We did find like four-lined beetles. I don't know if those are squash bugs or exactly what they are. I did find some of those the other day. This is my zucchini plant, but looks bug-free right now, so that's that's good. That's good to see that um, at least they're not inundated with crazy bugs. I did notice, you know, we had, this was all compost that we had tilled up and and then mix the compost in. And <laughs> one of the funny things that's happening is the weeds that are starting from our compost are, um, are, there are tomato plants everywhere. So, you know, at first I was like, oh, I'm gonna let them grow. Uh, but I'm thinking I might need to not let all of the tomato plants grow. So <laughs> it's, it's neat. I am gonna let a few of them and just see, see if we can get fruit set on a couple of them. Maybe, maybe one or two of them back here that we can see um, what, what kind of, uh, what kind of tomatoes they are. Surprise! The honey nut squash is starting to finally run up the fence here and it is going to set some fruit. So again, I'm not seeing any male flowers that have started. So I don't know if cross-pollination will work since we have so many male flowers from this one now. Maybe it will. Let's hope. And the sunset runner beans are headed up and they're just so beautiful um but they're not setting beans i thought that they would but they're not and so we changed the tray underneath the plant 
to try to make sure that they're a little bit more consistently watered, hoping that that might change why they're dropping their fruit. But I guess even if it's just an ornamental plant, it's still beautiful. This I saw starting yesterday, and since yesterday I've had two more blueberries start to turn. Um, so we've got two that are just very light purple here, and up over here is one blueberry probably ready to eat. So um, I'm going to get my handful of blueberries soon. It's wonderful to see. All of the dahlias that I started from seed are starting to, to bloom, and oh, they're just so pretty. Such a variation in colors, and um, so this is the first of these three plants here that has started. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that, that <laughs> I'm hoping the other two are just as beautiful as this one. Still hard to tell. It's got little blooms on it. Not quite open yet. When people talk about how quickly um, calendula goes to seed, um, they are not kidding. I mean, this has been here for uh, maybe two days, three days, and it is just a, a ball of seeds already. So um, what a fun plant. Here's the other really just exciting part of the garden is this is the... Um, the salvia that I started from seed and it is just blooming and beautiful. I didn't think I would get blooms on the first year of it, but it is doing really amazing. And then right behind it is another dahlia that look at all those blooms on there. And it's just this beautiful orange red single leaf petaled. It's so pretty. I'm just loving it. So it's been it's been really fun to see all of the stuff that's starting to really come into come into bloom and and gonna fill out. I love the dahlias that they are kind of giving you a sneak peek of fall color because they're definitely going to be the fall color for the garden. Over here is the other dahlia that has started to bloom, and I am just in love with that color. It's probably not even showing up as as deep peach colored as uh, as it is on the camera. I don't know that the camera can do it justice. It starts out with these red looking buds. So the back side of the flowers has red and the front side is this peachy orange. It is just stunning. Um, I didn't they were just a variety pack of seeds. I didn't know what color these seeds would be uh, when I planted them, and I couldn't be more happy with with how beautiful they're turning out to be. Well, the wind is pretty strong, and I really apologize if it's if it's making the audio terrible. Um, we'll make this a short video today, but um, just to show all of my cucumbers that have finally taken off, and they're headed up the trellis. They're the cucumbers are about halfway up on this side. Um, again, there's three cucumbers. There's Market Moore Straight Eight, and then um, the lemon cukes in the middle there. Um, and then back here with the uh, bottle gourds on the right side, the giant plant on the right side. And that's not powdery mildew, that's cotton on them. And then down in there is the little kooka melon that's really starting to take off like it won't be long before he takes over the whole trellis so so that's good to see all right that's it from the windy garden this morning i think that i need to head out and start doing some tying up of some of my sad little plants that are um getting a beating out of this wind so thank you so much for watching and um i hope you enjoy your day mm -hmm.